Hey, Low Riders, it's me, Lois, and I'm here to talk about Martel Holt's World Tour. I have taken some notes, so I'm going to be referencing some of them. But um, the first thing is the fact that he says he's a good father. Okay. So if you're such a good father, then why did the courts, courts, uh, appoint an attorney ad litem? To protect your children in this particular case. Not any other case. Whatever, everything else you and Melody got going on. Or anything else you and Melody have going on. Why did the courts appoint an attorney ad litem for the children and to protect your children? Because you, my dear, are lying. Period. And let me say before I continue that all these opinions and everything I state are definitely in my opinion. It is for entertainment purposes and fact checking. Some of my opinions are alleged. The disclaimer will be in my description for all to read. Thank you. Now, Martel's walking around talking about what a good dad he is. Okay. In his mind, he might be a good dad. And I will say, at the beginning of Love and Marriage Huntsville, Martel was a good dad, completely hands-on. You are absolutely right. And I think that's what you're referring back to because your behaviors and machinations right now are not showing good dad, okay? The fact that you decided... That you didn't want your children on TV because you, Martel Holt, chose to dissolve all business connections with your ex-wife. And you realized that you couldn't flip and dip the way she flipped and dipped. And everything she had was still in place. Which showed America and the world at large that Melody was... The head honcho. Okay, let's go ahead and say it like we want to say it. The head bitch in charge. Melody, you know I'm not calling you a bitch. But she was the HBIC. It wasn't you, Martel. You would like everybody to think that you taught Melody Cherie everything that she knows. But I don't believe that. I believe that she taught you, excuse me, taught you everything she knows. But you just hadn't learned to apply it. So, Okay, let's be real clear. You haven't learned how to do anything on your own without someone holding your hand. And it was your mama, Marlene, up until you married Melody. And then Melody up until you imploded your marriage. Now, Ariane, your mistress, cannot hold your hand. She cannot protect you. She cannot do all the things that you desire except if it's in a sexual manner. If that's what you want for your life, I'm okay with that. But if that's what you choose, which it seems that's what you have done, I'm going to need you to leave Melody Sheree the fuck alone. Okay? Because your actions and machinations is what caused you, Martel Holt, to have your marriage and your whole familial foundation and protections imploded because you couldn't keep your dick in your pants. You couldn't keep your penis at home. And that's a fact. So instead of you running around here blaming Melody for everything that you're doing, your behaviors and how you're talking about her, stop including her in the things that you are not able to accomplish because that only lets me know, I'm not sure about anybody else, but that just lets me know that you wasn't able to do it from the begin, okay? It lets me know that Melody was the one that was the driving force in you guys' the success. It had nothing to do with Martel Holt. She had your last name, and she decided, well, since this is my last name, I'm going to build that motherfucker up. Well, she's Melody Rogers now, and she's still doing that. Now, what's your problem? You said you were the man in charge. You were the brains and you were the this to the that. No, all that. Show me. Show me what you're working with, okay? 
Now, you said you're going to start addressing everything online from now on when people talk about you or come at you. Well, these are the things Lois X Brundage Vance wants you to, uh, to address directly and... Period. I don't want you to add anything on to it. I want you to just answer the question that is asked and not add any extra poof to it. Just answer the question. Why did you fucking cheat on Melody? Because according to you, Melody was everything that you wanted and was doing everything that you wanted. You didn't start with this campaign of her. Melody cheated too. Or she did this or she wasn't doing that until after she kicked you to the curb. She dropped your ass off. You didn't You didn't start accusing her of these things. So why all of a sudden is it Melody's fault? Why the fuck did you cheat? Period. Because according to you, you were there. Ariane was there. And it just happened. That's the lie you told. So you need to get your story straight. Because I'm not understanding what it is. Because you just said this the other day. Arion was there, I was there, and well, you know, okay, we know what, because we really don't know. We want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Secondly, why did you allow Arion to consistently and constantly disrespect your current wife, Melody Cherie, at the time that you claimed that you didn't have any contact with her? If you didn't have any contact with Ariane and she was disrespecting your ex-wife, why didn't you cut her off at the knees? Explain that to me like I'm true because I'm not understanding it at this time. You're saying I wasn't dealing with Ariane. We hadn't been in contact for months, but then all of a sudden she called. I, I'm going to call bullshit on that. How about that? And why does Armion get more respect than Melody? I'll wait. I know y'all hear my chair creaking. Because I need to understand why you chose to respect the woman that helped you implode your marriage and familial foundation. You chose to give her more respect than the woman you said you loved to the moon and fucking back. Explain that to me like I'm three. Okay, I'm going to need to understand that. Okay, I'm, uh, these are the questions that I need to have answered before you continue this motherfucking world tour that you're on. Okay, because we need to know. I'm not paying no more money for these goddamn tickets to come see you in concert if you're not going to tell the fucking truth, Martel Holtz. Okay, and then your claim that you never abused anyone. Meanwhile... Filming a video of you asking your child, did she want to get some? And having her go into a full hysteria and laughing about it. Uh, laughing about it for the camera, looking at the camera and thinking that shit is funny. And that's not abuse. And then taping uh, your ex-wife after you stole her money. Just so you could have proof that she hit you. Well, I didn't see her hit you in the video. And if I did, I didn't see it anyway. Okay? I didn't see nothing that she did. All I saw was the fact that there was a camera showing her reacting to something that you had did. And at that time, we were not privy to that information. And now that we know what it is, we ain't see shit. Okay? So let's be real clear. And then you said you get seven days on and seven days off. Yeah, probably now you do. But we see that those court document, documents were delayed. Excuse me. Let's re rewind. We see those court documents were dated earlier this year. It is now April. And because there are attorneys in place to protect the children, the agreement can go on as it was before until we officially get to court and a decision has been made. Don't think that we don't know this shit. A lot of us are mothers, okay? Because you think you seem to think women are stupid. And we've been through this shit with the courts. So we know what ad litem means and all the other bullshit that you're trying to explain us talking about an allegation. 
Yeah, sometimes things said may not be true. That is an allegation. And it's a possibility that ha that happened. But I'm willing to bet that 95 and 98% of everything that was said was true and actual and factual. Martell, with your lying ass. Okay? Stop trying to act like you won something. The motherfucking case ain't over yet. And we are not stupid because uh, we've been through this. Okay, you said uh, women can't drive. <laughs> okay, women can't drive. And all I'm going to do is say, the fact that you even said that shows what a misogynistic person you are. That's a, for lack of a better term. I'm going to clean that up real nice for you. Just sit down somewhere with that. We can drive. Women can do at least 95% of what men can do. So stop trying to act like women cannot do these things. There are some women that are stronger than men physically and have proven that by doing jobs that some men are too bougie to take. And I know your bougie ass ain't going to take it. You know, Mel was the one that was protecting you. She was the one that had your back. And now that she no longer has your back, you want to be on this world tour talking about all this nonsense. Okay, and what about being a single mom is not cute, Martel? Because let's be clear, wasn't your mama uh, a single mom? Oh, only she's cute? Okay, and let's be clear, also be clear, Melody is not a single mom. She is an ex-wife who had children during her marriage job. Uh, and became single and just happened to be a mom. So I'm just going to need you to clear that shit up, okay? Because she wasn't a single mom. She was a motherfucking wife first, okay? Get your shit in order, dude. And then you... I think that's all I have in my notes. I got a bunch of notes here, but you know, sometimes I can't read my own handwriting. You know how it is. You can't read your own hand. I got that doctor's signature and stuff, so that's how I do everything. But uh, you are a single dad, okay? And that's not cute either, especially when you're walking around on a world tour disrespecting the mother of your children, the one who gave you those beautiful children that helped you raise those beautiful children to the age that they are now and have taught and ingrated such manners in these children that they're so respectful, even when you treat them like street booty. You're a single dad who doesn't have control of your children properly. They're afraid of you. There's a difference, okay? They don't respect you. And as things proceed, when it comes down to the final, final? And you no, no longer have custody. Those kids are going to throw a party. They're probably going to throw a party in France. Somewhere in Europe. You know, the Mediterranean. Who knows? They may go to Spain. They may go to the Caribbean. We don't know exactly where they're going. But them and their mamas is going to throw a party. And we all going to celebrate. Because instead of you owning humbly your mistake in all of this. You being the catalyst that caused all of these things to happen, you want to put the blame on somebody else. And until you can take full accountability and responsibility and blame for what you've done, Martel Holt, no one is going to trust you ever again. Period. And that's all I got to say about that. Low Riders, thank you so much for riding with me. I appreciate you so much. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's very important. I'm getting up there. I think I'm at 948. I know I've been, I have been. was at 943 for 300 days. And I'm exaggerating, of course. Y'all know I exaggerate. But I need to get to that thousand so we can make the next move. So come on, help me. I appreciate you. I love each and every one of you guys. Peace.